Hey guys, welcome to my site. This is Joe Simpson, and I wanted to do a follow-up to one of my videos I did before. It was about the Western Digital My Passport. And uh, Jean-Paul Germain said, I saw that you have Procreate on your iPad. Is it possible you can show how you'd back up appropriate folders with this wireless Western Digital My Passport hard drive? I think I know what he's asking me. He wants me to save the uh, Procreate files to the hard drive directly and I'll show you how I would go about doing that. So let's say you're in here and I just drew a picture for my friend and I was showing him a fishing lure that I wanted to use and I wanted to save that in my hard drive, carry it over to his house and open it up and look at it. Um, I could also send an email and text and all that stuff, but for the sake of what Jean-Paul was asking, let's go ahead and um, show him how I would back this up to the My Passport. First thing you would do is you turn on your My Passport and you'd go log in and I'm logged on. You can see up here in the Wi-Fi section, it says My Passport 5 gigahertz. So you link directly to the drive, first of all. Then you wanna make sure you open up um, the uh, My Cloud doohickey, the app, it's called My Cloud for the Western Digital app. And make sure that you're locked on and everything's accessible and it's there, okay? So the My Cloud is there. So I'm gonna leave that app and I'm gonna go back to Procreate and I'm gonna go select, I'm gonna select the picture I wanna back up, I'm gonna share it and I'm gonna share it as a JPEG first, just to show you one sample. And I'll grab my cloud and I'll say select the location. Nice. Ah, uh, this one, I picked the wrong one. Storage. And I can put it in, just select. And I can save it. And that saved the Procreate file. So if I want to save it as a JPEG, select it and share it and save it as a JPEG. Go to My Cloud. Go to My Passport. Make sure you're picking the right one. That's what I was doing wrong before. You want to pick the one. That's, mine's the orange and gray one at the bottom. You can pick a location. I don't think you can actually... You can see the untitled artwork procreate file there. I don't think you can set up, let me see if I can push and hold. Yeah, you can't create a folder here, but you could pick, like if you set up a procreate folder within the Western Digital My Passport, you could save to the procreate folder, but you'd have to create that folder prior to doing this step. But anyway, let's select the general drive and hit save and it'll save the artwork. So now if you just leave procreate altogether and you go back over to my cloud, Let's see here. Da, 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 da. Okay, they're there, it refreshed. If you look here in the storage on my cloud, you can see untitled artwork JPEG, and of course you could name these different names. So you could actually see the photo saved on the hard disk, because this is now JPEG, and you can zoom in and manipulate or send the file, or you could click the Procreate um, file, and I think, yeah, so when you select the Procreate file, let's say you walked over, took the hard drive, and your buddy signed on to this hard drive, and you say, hey, grab that Procreate file, and you can say, open it in Procreate, which right there. Um, you could click, you could click done, and the Procreate, you see it's duplicated. There's, um, there's one here, and if you go back two over, there's another one. So you can see it duplicated untitled artwork. You can kind of see both of those. Cool. Anyway, that's how that works. That's, that's kind of how you'd back up or save and how you would import or open. So hope that helped. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, thanks again, Jean-Paul, for watching. Hopefully this helps you understand how it goes in and out. It's not like a connected hardware.